Hey now, back at last. You've collected quite a few of the Cobalt Star Shards now, haven't you boys? Why, you've got five of the Cobalt Star Shards. There's only one more to go. Professor, we have data about that Cobalt Star. It appears to possess the power to remove the barrier from the past castle. How'd you come to that conclusion? I mean, unless the star itself told you. It did. The spirit of the star materialized before us and gave us that very information. I see. Well, if you got it straight from the star's mouth, it's probably accurate. The end's in sight, guys. We'll think good thoughts until you're all safely back here. The time hold to the past castle is on the third floor, fellers. You stay out of trouble now, although I guess that's not really an option at this point. What's up, guys? Toby here, and welcome back to more Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we finished exploring the Star Shrine, recovering both the fourth and fifth Cobalt Star Shards. And in this episode, we are making our final preparations to head off to Peach's Castle in the past, or as they call it now, Shroob Castle. No reason to not stock up on just a ton of items. Uh, really, after this point, I mean... Eh, I don't know if I want to buy any max mushrooms. I mean, I feel like 12 is probably enough. Mushroom drops. I mean, I've got 24 of the ultra drops, which... Yeah, I guess there is no max drop now that I think about it. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. We've got perfectly good number of 1-ups. I don't think I've even used one yet. I think the only time I died, I just beat the battle. Uh, 11 refreshing herbs. They're so cheap, we'll just buy a bunch more. Uh, not gonna buy any peppers. I still haven't used any of them. And that's it for the regular items. And in the bros items, there's nothing new. Uh, because we came back here in between Toad Town and Star Hill. It's just the Mixed Flower and the Red Shell, which, looking at these, we've already got a decent number of everything. I think 30 trampolines is probably enough, but I'll buy like five or six more. Pocket Chomps I've been using a lot of, so I'm going to grab a bunch more. Copy Flowers will go up to 30. Uh, red shells I'm not going to need, and mixed flowers, I think we'll pick them up faster than I'm going to actually be using them. Come on back. You know, I don't think we will. Now the gear shop. This is going to be the last bit. Oh, I guess it's not any new gear. It's the same as what we had. Yeah, I, I realized this after we came back during the Toad Town interlude. Uh, I think these royal gear are the, the last you can get. So we could get another 10 defense on Luigi, but it's not worth lowering that speed. And another 30 defense on Mario at the cost of 20 HP. Uh, might be worth it, but, you know, we're gonna find some gear that gets dropped uh, as rare drops from enemies, so I'm not gonna worry about that. For the babies, we could get 5 defense at the cost of 40 stash, definitely not worth it. Or 20 defense at the cost of 20 HP, also in my opinion not worth it because our HP is pretty low on the babies. Badges, again, all the same stuff we've already seen. I don't think there's any reason I need to buy any of these in particular, but I do think I'm going to go down to the badge shop in the basement. Here at Fawful's shop, you see we have 145 beans. I'm not 100% certain that's all the beans in the game. Um, at least they can get up to this point, because I imagine we'll probably also find some in Peach's Castle in the past. I'm not actually sure about that. Um, but you can see this is about where I'm at, or I guess it's exactly where I'm at. Uh, I think... I think the only things worth it would be the rough badge, because that'd be exciting. Stomp badge could be kind of cool. Pummel badge could also be really cool for the babies, but I don't mind the fights in this game. So I think I'm going to grab a rough badge and an ultra free badge. You have happiness? You are wearing this now? No, we're just going to hold on to it. And we'll grab the rough badge, which we will also just hold on to for now. I have badges. Such badges bring beans! And just to quickly show what my equipment looks like, I'm wearing stash jeans, mushroom jeans, power slacks, shroom slacks. And then on badges, two lucky badges, and then the hit pow and the big pow. Um, oh, no, I was going to say I might switch to two hit pows, but I only have the one. Oh, well. All right, time to head upstairs. And here we are at the last time hole that we know will take us to Peach's Castle of the past. And they still freak out going through the time hole, so I don't know why in my memory there is a point at which they don't, but I guess the whole game they freak out. Here we are, Peach's Castle, Mushroom Kingdom past, obviously taken over by the Shroobs. This is, if it wasn't already clear, the final area of the game, so make any preparations you intend to have 
before coming here. Obviously, you can go back, but uh, this is really... Cobalt Star is reacting something. I didn't even read what that said. Stop well. This is the point at which you want to go back, collect any beans, collect any items. Ooh, nice shimmer. And it dissolves that gate, which I guess was holding the door back. The door just was spring-loaded to open, because otherwise that doesn't make any sense. But, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. Just thankful. Stupendous. Now we gain access if you follow. Shrooms have certainly made this their stronghold. Loathing cycle activated. Back to adventure. Everyone's excited except Luigi. Come on, dude, you hit the Aurora block. Yeah, that's right, buddy. And in we go. And don't worry, there will actually be music in this dungeon. It's just that first screen is quiet. You can see immediately the return of the Tanumbas. I always find it hard to make it past that first game without getting hit, I feel. Uh, here, we can see another new enemy. Oh my god, this guy is terrifying. It looks like something from Bowser's Inside Story more than this game. Trying to hit these blocks. We have two red peppers and two copy flowers and three broken bridges. And we can see there are warp pipes up on the top screen. I'm sure you can figure out exactly what this is. This enemy, however, is the Snooze Orb. Very clever name. They remain asleep up until you hit them, at which point they wake up and roll towards you. You have to hammer them back multiple times. Unfortunately, it's not like the, uh, what other enemy we fought where every time you would hit them back, they would take damage from each hit. Uh, I think that was the, the Piranha Planet, excuse me. Yeah, you can see they don't take a turn if they're still asleep. They have about 110 HP. Ooh, two lucky hits. Uh, I think something about the way the smoke comes out of his nose is supposed to, yeah. That's how you can tell which brother they're aiming for. If it comes out going to the left, they're aiming for Mario. To the right, for Luigi. Uh, they do have some more attacks, obviously. Well, I shouldn't say obviously, but they do have more attacks. However, we're going to be fighting a lot of these, so I don't feel the need to sit here and stall within one particular fight. And yay, we're going to get to see one switching lanes. I guess he didn't feel like doing any more attacks than that. And he only had 12 HP left. It's just a shame that... Blah. It's a shame the hammer back doesn't count for counterattack damage, otherwise that would have nicely taken him out. And there is a warp pipe on the screen if you ever get stuck, uh, run out of, like, mushrooms or something, and only need only want to move with the adults or the babies or whatever. Anyway, this is the Tashruba, the more powerful form of the Tanumba, obviously mixed with, uh... I mean, it's the Tanuki... Whoops. I totally forgot to tell. Mix of what, Tanuki and Shroob and Goomba. So a lot of different names in here. It has about 125 HP, but you can see I took it out very easily and drops max mushrooms. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, definitely still turns into a toad with the tail. Still has that same tail. All right, here we go. We got two of them. Let's see, in that last uh, battle there, one of them, or the only one we were fighting, did this attack where it goes into this shell thing. They just basically move a lot faster, and of course, same as before, jumping straight up means they're aiming for Mario. Jumping while spinning means they're aiming for Luigi. Nothing too complicated with regards to that. Whoops, did not mean to miss that. And they seem to just want to keep doing this attack, which is fine with me. It's easy to dodge. Of course, they do have those same Balloon and Thwomp attacks, same as the regular Tanubas back from Thwomp Volcano. Make sure that we see that at some point. And another max, that max Mushroom, as well as a level up on Mario. HP looks good, power looks good, defense looks good, speed looks good, stash looks bad, but that's okay because I don't care about stash. We'll go with defense. All right, we'll take a four, and we are not in that six EXP or five EXP range where Mario levels up, but Luigi doesn't. We'll go with uh, attack. I was going to say because he's not over 100 like Mario is, but I only got a two. Although I guess I would have needed a five or six to get over. No way across to the right. So we'll just walk up, grab two more red peppers, two coffee flowers, and some coins. And yeah, one more of these. When we were back in... Oh, and you can see the block is right there. When we were back in the Star Shrine and I saw the uh, shine block, I was going to say, oh, this is the last one of these of the game. And then I remembered, no, there's one in this dungeon as well. Not that I mind. This is a, a mechanic I kind of enjoy quite a bit. 
Got two refreshing herbs, and yeah, that's right. I can keep making my way through the darkness. I do need to lower the game audio. It's a bit loud in my ears right now. One sec. There we go. Much better. Uh, all right. Which way do we want to go here? Okay. We need to head down. Not that you can really go to the right. I think that platform... Yeah, because it's a blue platform, you'll see it in the dark, and it'll look like it's just up and to the right. But it's actually raised, so it's a trick. You have to come down and hit this block first. Now it's on the same level, so we can hop over. Pay attention to the fact that it's uh, Luigi. And make our way across. This is actually really tricky, because I'm trying to look at the... Uh... I need to pay attention if I'm looking at the capture window or the actual game. Oh. Wow, that is truly unfortunate. I did not think about that being an issue what i should have done there is immediately jumped off onto that downward platform to grab the item block that was there but in my hesitation of trying to explain what my difficulty was between the capture window and the All right oh you need to jump there dang it what i was saying is that in my hesitation of trying to explain what was going on i got distracted and hesitated and it caused me to fail what I was originally trying to say is that when I look at the screen of my actual DS, the recording window of my computer is in the background, and I see everything on a very slight delay compared to the game, which of course I correct for, wow, all that for two red shells, uh, which I correct for in the actual um, like editing process. No, are you... Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't believe I'm making this many mistakes on this maze. Right after I said it's a mechanic I like. To finally wrap up that point, I was saying, seeing the same thing slightly delayed is messing with my ability to make these jumps. Not that they're even... Nope, nope, not making the same mistake. I'll just wait another cycle. Oh my god. I guess I... Well, that's just a waste. I guess I should have either hit the block with the adult and then waited to hit the block with the baby, or just do that because you can easily tell when it stops. All right, trying to walk very carefully here so I don't mess up again. Pay attention to if it's Mario or Luigi. Hop over this way to grab just some coins that are entirely worthless because we're not going back to a shop to buy anything. And to my memory, there's no like shops in this dungeon like you don't have any monty moles or anything making their hideout here anyway finally we get through and for the love of god make sure you hit that button before you drop down otherwise you'll have to go through the entire maze again and as much as i like the mechanic i am definitely happy to be done with that room hitting that opens up a path forward on the bottom to the right by growing some mushrooms which is kind of creepy in all honesty like we're just walking across shrewd stuff and we've got more of this guy don't let him roll into your back or you're gonna be tripping in the battle now he does have another attack aside from his rolling one but that seems to be all he wants to do which wow okay i don't know why that one felt like it came so much more quickly you can see this guy does not mess around. The enemies here do a lot of damage. Um, actually, maybe the Tashroomba didn't, but everything else does to a pretty decent extent. Uh, I thought he was going to be switching bros, but no, he just wants to die, I guess. Really doesn't feel like using that other attack. Um, maybe in this... Nope, this is just another Tashroomba, which I also need to show because they've still got the... <laughs> the attacks where they fall from the sky that I'd like to show. There are other new enemies here. It's not just these two. Hey, there we go. Luigi and Blomp. Nice. And that took him out. Maybe they don't have as much HP as I originally said they do because that seemed like it was way too quick. Um, wait, did I get a piggyback jump in there with Luigi? I might have and not even been paying attention. That shows how distracting it is to talk. Uh, y you sit here and you talk about the game. Well, I definitely did get in a piggyback jump with Luigi because he is faster than them, as evidenced right there. But yeah, when you're talking, it, it really makes playing the game well a lot harder. I think normally on my playthroughs of this game, I don't 
get hit nearly as much as I do, and I'm definitely not missing the action commands. I know way earlier in the game, back in Bowser's castle. All right, come on, be the balloon. No, and I just went for the wrong brother like an absolute idiot. Well, this is why I brought a ton of mushrooms, because I knew I was going to struggle. <laughs> oh, lucky it. That's definitely going to take him out. Yep. And level up. No. All right. Not that I really needed it. I was just curious. Again, like I've said many times before, I have beaten the game at a lower level than we already are right now. So no uh, big concern about getting any stronger. And wow, what a great puzzle, guys. You know what? Just to save time, let's roll up here, but not accidentally baby pancake. Otherwise, it would lose us time. Regular bro flowers, regular coins. Oh, it's not done. And then 20 coins. Woohoo. All right, we have finally made it inside the castle. Very strange that they offset the, uh, the main door, but hey, you know, I'm not an alien, so I don't know their design sensibilities. And yeah, this place is huge. I was starting to say, I'm wondering how many episodes it's going to take us to get through this dungeon because there is a lot. We can see a or two warp pipes, actually, the way forward going up ahead, but there's another one of these blocks encased in crystals, and we see beams similar to the ones... Uh, I think those are the ones that we saw in Gritzy Desert, and we also see a second pair up there for another block and another pipe. So, yeah, you can imagine you're going to spend a lot of time split up I personally prefer to do the same thing I did in the Gritzy Desert, just go around and take out all the enemies with everyone together. And here we have another new enemy, the Soul Bubble. This is the enemy I was thinking of when we first fought the Love Bubble earlier in the game, and I failed a bunch of its counterattacks. Here we go. Okay, well, I missed the timing on it, but they can do... Oh my goodness, I'm getting hit a lot. All right, definitely need to heal. Maybe I do need to go back and buy more mushrooms based on the rate we're going now. And those coins will come in handy. But I guess if I start cutting out some battles after we've shown everything these guys have, then I can I can uh, do a lot better at the counterattacks. We saw right there the laser attack. That's their other attack where they do the same smoke thing, but you'll have a jump icon and then they just open their mouth and shoot a laser from that. Actually, I didn't mean to attack you. You can see they have a rage, of course, where they heal enemies. That's fine. I want to miss the action command here. No, he's still going into the rolling attack. They have a change to their laser attack when they get below half health. And, of course, because they keep getting healed, that hasn't happened yet. So I'm trying to slowly weaken this top guy. Hopefully, yeah. All right, I think he should be under half HP, but he wants to keep using the rolling attack. Now I'll just focus on attacking the others. Dang it, the timing on that is so difficult because they they delay way longer than I'm expecting them to. Anyway, we've seen a few of the Soul Bubbles attacks. We've seen the one where it kind of just goes around in a circle and you have to jump with both bros. We've seen the one where it goes around, but it starts up high, so you only jump with one of them. And we've seen the one where it dive bombs, and we've seen it heal. It does have one other thing it can do that is different from the Love Bubble, which I'm not sure if we're going to get to see. But in addition to healing enemies, it can also bring back defeated enemies. It is a really dangerous enemy for that reason. Uh, and something you definitely want to focus on taking out first, if you're not like me. All right, come on. You should be below half HP. Oh, okay. Well, there's certainly the other attack. Oh my goodness, I'm about to die. Well, this has gone very poorly because I happened to forget what it is. I was thinking that when I was thinking they would do the laser beam where one brother has to jump and then the other has to not jump. It turns out no, they can just shoot the beam over your head. They can also sweep between bros as we've seen. I think what it is is that after half HP, they end up firing twice in one turn instead of just a single time. Anyway, I guess this is our first time showing the death in the piggyback formation. You can still use bros items because you have a Mario and a Luigi. You just can't use any of the ones that require all four. Uh, interestingly, uh, yeah, we can see what a pocket chomp would do. Uh, if it will show. Yeah, you'll have the baby doing the jumping with one thing. 
And I'm wondering if, Lu yeah, you can still get Baby Luigi on the tail. Very interesting. And this means that Lu Baby Luigi would be able to hit flying enemies, but uh, Baby Mario would not. And I think if Luigi activates a shell, we'll get to have Lui Baby Luigi on it, but Baby Mario can't. Anyway, I'm definitely going to be using a 1-up here. The only other thing to mention about the soul bubbles is that they attack much more quickly than the... Uh, ooh, do I want to use an ultra? No, I'll use a super. They attack much more quickly after their tells than the... Alright, I don't know how you're supposed to be able to tell if they're aiming at your feet or at the ground. I... Maybe it's they always aim in the ground first. Yeah, I think that's what it is. They always aim at the ground. It's only once they're below half health, then they will... Oh my god, I need to use an ultra drop. No, I think I can finish this fight if we use a... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll use a trampoline. Why not? They... Once they get below half HP, then they shoot two laser beams. The first always goes above your head. The second always goes at your feet. And it's random if they sweep between brothers or not, I think. That's my understanding. And that is definitely everything these guys have to show. The only thing is we haven't seen the um, the balloon attack from the Tashruba. And we've also seen everything the Soul Bubble can do except for Resurrection. That fight took forever. Unfortunately, it's a bit slow to spam mushrooms. They don't all go super quick like that. Or like they do in other games, you could just spam the button a bunch of times. At this point, I'm going to start cutting out these fights because you can see there are a ton of them. I'll cut back in if anything interesting happens. And there's the balloon attack. That's level 27 on Baby Mario. And honestly, I may actually need these level ups. And I'm probably going to have to start going for power because something I realized is I think when I usually get to the end of the game, I just rush through and avoid the fights as much as possible rather than fighting every enemy as I'm doing so here because I know I'm so close to the end of the game and I'm confident in my ability to beat it. You can see I'm down really low on HP on Luigi now and I'm already below 50 mushrooms. I think I started out over 60. Um... Oh, there's another one. I might just skip it for now and go see what's in these. We have, hey, still the 100 coins and a dire free badge. We already know what that does. It makes it so when you're at less than a quarter HP, you can use infinite bros items. Again, we just got the ultra free badge, so why not just use that? Two more red peppers. Uh, and yeah, I... Oh, that was weird. I got, like, stuck. Can I do that again? No? Huh. Very strange. Uh, and here's the third one, which, oh, does not have a fight. This has two one-up supers. We'll gladly take that. And, you know, I think we'll go collect the 100 coin with the babies. Um, but yeah, I keep taking hits from the... Oh, where did I miss? Oh, I think I missed this one up here. I keep taking hits from the snooze orbs, and I also keep taking hits from the Tushroombas. Uh, I keep failing to hammer back the... Thwomp attack with Luigi, which is very unfortunate, but I will take these out. We can also see up on the banister here another new enemy, but we're not going to be fighting those for quite a while. This is a very interconnected area, has you not necessarily backtracking, but retreading areas you've already been to quite a bit. And yeah, you can see what I'm talking about with just tons of enemies everywhere. I'm going to come back and fight these guys in a bit because thankfully we have a dead end over here. Just gonna keep making my way past all these enemies and I'll take them all out in one fell swoop. Right here at the end, we have a single coin and two ultra mushrooms. You know, I will gladly take all the mushrooms as well as this inconspicuous brick wall that we can't seem to do anything with just yet. We do, however, have the first of these lasers, which if we activate, I believe is gonna do the same thing as Gritzy Desert. Yep, activates a 10 second timer. So either you split up or you clear everything of enemies or just try to dodge on your way there. I think I am going to definitely take the route of taking everything out. 
Oh, no. Okay, at least Luigi goes first, so it's fine. Definitely a good thing having him have that speedy gear, not just so that he doesn't go after the enemies in general, but also he's much more likely to get back attacked than Mario. This new enemy is the Shrew Rex. They have about 119 HP, and we didn't ever see a regular Rex, but these work very similarly to the ones from uh, the Hoo Hoo Mountain back in Superstar Saga, where when you jump on them, they shrink down, and if they are, if you don't jump on them to shrink them down on their turn, they can be too tall. You see they have, an, oh, they circle back to hit both bros. I didn't look at my notes yet because I wasn't expecting to see them quite yet. Um, but yeah, you imagine if they were still at full, wow, 108 damage on a lucky. Uh, if they were still at full height, we wouldn't have been able to jump over them on that counterattack. There was also the one, yep, there we go. Soul Bubble bringing enemies back to life. They don't give them full HP, as you can see. They're just 32. All right, aiming down, which means it's... Dang it. Oh, I was hoping to get the counterattack there. All right, I also don't remember the timing on these again because I fight these guys so infrequently. I spend most of my time in the castle just trying to avoid these fights because there are so many of them. They're so hard. You can see there's Luigi hitting an enemy straight up, and we already saw Mario hit them to the right back, as I mentioned, in the fight against um, the Elder Shrewboid. All right. There, I think, is their last attack. So we've seen all four now, right? There's that one. If I can talk through these all without getting distracted. There's the one where they don't... They look straight ahead, spit out a fireball. It splits. You have to hammer it with both. There's the one where they look towards one bro, and you have to hammer it back with that bro first. Then the other one. There's the one where they run underneath you and circle back. And there's the one where they jump in front of one of the bros, sending out a shockwave, and you have to jump in sequence with the near bro and then the far bro. This should hopefully take this one out. Again, these guys, maybe they have more HP than is in my notes because they seem to be taking a lot more hits than the other enemies were. Uh, and they haven't been getting healed, so I don't know why else that could be. But definitely a dangerous, dangerous enemy. Absolutely need to spend your... Ooh, one-up mushroom and a one-up super. I'm saying absolutely need to spend your first turn jumping on them to get them flattened out so they can't hurt you. But I think that's actually going to be where we stop for this episode. I will take out the two enemies we saw in this room right here in between episodes. I just don't think it's necessary to cut back after that fight. However, I will meet you after that fight at the start of the next one as we continue making our way through this area, trying to unlock the way forward from these laser beams. I'm stalling because I really don't want to end the video and have to go do those fights because... Uh, actually, because before I forget, let me heal Mario. Yeah, running very low on mushrooms already. This is not looking good. See you guys next time.